I come from South Africa. Uh, everyone knows Mandela, uh, so it's the land of Madiba. I, I live in Tableview, which uh, has, has beachfront, is known as Blobo Beach. And it's from that vantage point that all the famous pictures of Table Mountain are taken. Uh, I work 40 k's away in Musenberg and uh, that's George Whitfield College, established in 1989 and the official training ground for uh, REACH South Africa, which was formerly the Church of England in South Africa. But many other people come from many other denominations to train there. Uh, George Whitfield College uh, was started by Dr. Borton Knox, uh, David Second, Dr. David Second took, took over from him. And, uh, been there for about 20 years and I've succeeded him as principal. Uh, the vision is getting crisper. Uh, it's a wonderful thing to, to not just impose a vision on something but to find it coming out of the organisation and very much in, uh, in David's heart was to uh, see a college that's reaching the whole of the continent. And more recently we've crystallised that into a vision which says that we'd love to see the nations of Africa, the many nations, uh, filled with preachers and teachers who deeply love the Lord Jesus and out of a profound knowledge of the scriptures disciple many thousands for Christ so that Africa may increase her share in the kingdom of God. Now that's a, a whole long thing but it, uh, it gives good expression to where we're at. We're not just looking at South Africa, as important as South Africa is, but we're looking at the whole continent. The more college leadership and, and more particularly Dr. Mark Thompson invited me to come across and um, to be graduation speaker and that happened a couple of days ago. So I was able to be part of that. What a lovely time it was. I was again about 700, 800 people there packed into the recital hall. Uh, it was just such a lovely experience looking out seeing all those people and to have an opportunity to really preach the gospel and to do it from one of the gospels. So it was the gospel of Mark chapter 9 and the transfiguration of Jesus. There he is transfigured and shining with that glorious light on top of the mountain. And then to pose the question to everybody, well, what's, what's that all about? Why do that? And, and of course that's partly answered by where it is in the Gospel of Mark. It's in that second half of the book, right at the commencement of the second half. And Jesus is now beginning to talk about why he's come. And so it's not glory straight away. There's still the cross. And so the importance of the cross uh, starts to emerge there big time and it was just wonderful to be able to speak about that and also to think about all those people I was looking into their faces and uh, there must have been people there who don't yet know Jesus as Lord and Saviour and what a wonderful thing to come to a graduation and maybe find Christ this one who was transfigured on the mountain actually find him and then find hope uh, through that message The contact and uh, connection uh, runs very deep. The college was started in 89 and the first principal was Dr. Broughton Knox and uh, he came across and for a couple of years he really got the whole thing up and running. And Broughton uh, put into, into movement uh, what we've become. I really feel coming back here that uh, I'm still on Broughton's mission, as it were, uh, th th to switch uh, to uh, molecular biology. There's a DNA component that's kind of, we, we, I really feel part of the family. And I really f sense that we're regarded as, as almost like an extra limb out there. Even though the geography means that there's a big distance, uh, something of more college has grown there and, and acquired an African an African face and an African persona, but the DNA definitely has come from here. So that's, that's big. And then of course David Seckham came, so the Australian connection has been there for quite a while. And he certainly built on what Broughton had put in place. And we've had lots of visitors, uh, visiting lecturers and others, made use of the materials. Uh, there's been quite a lot on the go. And I think in, in, in many ways, as is the most natural thing to do, people who come from more than take what they know and adapt it and, and so yeah, there's some very strong connections. Home from home. <laughs>